Um, can you just update us on what role uh, the Wagner Group have been playing in Ukraine since since last June? And and I know this just happened yesterday. Do you think there's going to be implication on uh, the group's uh, future role, especially in Africa, after Prigozhin and maybe the second yeah. uh, man um, in its hierarchy is, as you said, uh, yeah. got killed? So, so a few things. Um, as it relates to Ukraine, um, their role as a combat force uh, has largely uh, it, it's for all intents and purposes uh, no longer a factor on the battlefield in Ukraine. Um, after after uh, Wagner Group's actions two months ago in Russia, uh, as you know, uh, those those forces were essentially removed from combat. Uh, near Bakhmut, where they had been fighting. Um, oh, by the way, uh, you know, and we've said this before, the Wagner forces essentially were Russia's most effective combat forces on the battlefield. Those forces essentially were removed from the battlefield. Some of them were, were um, relocated to Belarus to provide training uh, for Belarus forces. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, uh, they have, their combat effectiveness has been diminished. Uh, and they are no longer a, a significant factor when it comes to the, the conflict inside Ukraine. As it relates to Africa, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, clearly, we know that the Wagner Group is, has for a while been conducting operations, uh, has many tentacles, some military in nature, some criminal in nature, uh, in Africa and places like Burkina Faso and Mali. Uh, and so, you know, I don't think anybody's going to discount the potential for uh, danger when it comes to that group or the remnants of that group. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on it. Thank you.